In this video, I'll be showing you how to approach a very simple titration problem. So we have our problem here, which is for the neutralization of 25 centimeter cube of phosphoric acid, uh, which is H2PO4, it requires 28.70 centimeter cube of sodium hydroxide, NaOH, of concentration 0 0.1500 mole per dm cube. What is the concentration of the phosphoric acid? So in this case, um, let's highlight the important parts. Um, we're neutral, uh, so we know that we have 25 centimeter cube of phosphoric acid. Remember that 25 centimeter cube is also um, one centimeter cube is the same as one milliliter. So just don't get confused about that. Um, so for the neutralization of uh, 25 milliliters or 25 centimeter cube of phosphoric acid, it requires 28.70 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. So that's our uh, second important point. And that sodium hydroxide used has a concentration of 0 0.15 mole dm cube. Or, in other words, um, to make things clear, 1 dm cube is equals to 1 liter. Right, so when we have mole per dm cube, it's the same thing as mole per liter, just more fancy. And it's asking us, what is the concentration of the phosphoric acid H3PO4? So in this case, we know the uh, volume of phosphoric acid, we know the volume of sodium hydroxide, we know the concentration of sodium hydroxide, but we, we don't know the concentration of the phosphoric acid. So um, to start, there's a very important formula which uh, we uh, have in these typical titration problems. And here are the labels for that formula. So C1 is C uh, refers to the concentration, V is volume, N is the coefficient of the first substance. So looking at this formula, what do we have ready? We have what? The volume of H3PO4, right? We have um, N, which we can take from this formula, but I'll show you how to do that. But we have that. We have the concentration of sodium hydroxide, which is here. So we have this. We have the volume of sodium hydroxide, which is here. And we have N2 as well from this formula. But what we're missing is C1, and that's what we're trying to find. So, uh, again, we move this formula to our slide again because it's very important. And let's make H3PO4 substance one. So anything referring to one, V1, C1, N1 refers to H3PO4, while anything referring to two refers to the NaOH. So let's draw, or let's figure out these values. So C1, that's what we're trying to find, right? So C1 equals two question mark, because we don't know what it is. V1 equals two, what do we have here? For the neutralization, 25 centimeter cube of phosphoric acid, right? So it's 25 centimeter cube. And N1 here, N1 is from the from, uh, from the equation here. So it, 1 H3PO4 plus 3 NaOH is uh, used to make this, right? And so the uh, coefficient for H3PO4 based on this equation is 1. That's where we get the coefficients. So we have these. And for substance 2, um, C2 refers to the concentration of NaOH. We know that the concentration of NaOH is right here. 0 0.1500 mole dm cube. Mole dm cube. Again, this is just mole per liter. And... Um, we have the volume of NaOH as well, which is right here, right? Re uh, the neutralization of this H3PO4 requires 28.70 of the sodium hydroxide, so it's 28.70 cm cube, and the coefficient is given from the equation, right, which we determined was three. All right, so we figured out all the uh, values we need to satisfy this equation, right? Because we have everything 
we have this, we have this, we have this, this, this. And so we can just move things around to find this. All right, so going to the next slide, previously we found that um, we have these values, right? And so we want to manipulate this equation such that we're solving for C1, right? So that's very simple. It's just um, basic, um, you know, manipulation of an equation, right? So we want to find C1. So how do we do this, right? So C1 equals to what? Um, there is an N1 in this side. So we move N1 to the top. So that becomes C2, V2, N1. And we move V1 to the bottom, right? So we move V1 here. And that becomes V1 and two. So this is how we solve for C1. And if you want to just um, move things around, we can do that. And C1 equals to C2, which is here 0 0.1500, 0 0.1500 mole dm cube. And I'm writing the units uh, just to make a point uh, very soon times V2, which is 28.70. centimeter cube multiplied by n1 which is 1 over v1 which is 25 centimeter cube multiplied by n2 which is 3 now you might be wondering right um let's look at this this here represents litters. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's use this. this here represents litters, right? DM3. Like I said before, DM refers to litters, but we have centimeter here. So do we have to convert our units um, in this case? Well, it's safe to convert units most of the time. But if you look at it this way, right? Um, at the end, DM, CM3, CM3, it doesn't matter because look, the CM3 immediately cancels out here, right? So it doesn't matter what units we have, in this case at least, because the um, units cancel out. But make sure when you're doing this, you write down the units to make sure that they do cancel out and you don't have to convert anything. So that's the point I was making about the units and we can move on. So we've determined this a formula, right? Uh, previously, this one here from here. Um, although it's kind of messy, but yeah. And basically, with this, we can just solve for C1, um, doing some simple math, and we get that the concentration of the phosphoric acid is 0 0.0574 mole dm cube, mole per dm cube or mole per liter. So that's um, how to approach a very simple titration problem. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Thank you.